Um, and as I, I'm pretty impressed with this area right here. Okay, this looks industrious, right? Very uh, militaristic. Oh man, I'm just, I'm pretty impressed with this. Not to toot my own horn, <laughs> but it goes all the way out to the hangar. Uh, but before What's up, what's up, Game Warriors? Welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival, and I literally just ended the last one <laughs> uh, from defending the top brewery, and now we're under attack. I literally, literally just landed, emptied everything out. These guys just don't give me a break. Let's fend these guys off. All right, where are they coming from? Where are you coming from? Oh, 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 don't waste ammo. Don't waste ammo. I gotta make more. Where are you coming from? Holy crap! They're way up there too, man. Good thing it's only three. One down. Seems like too high to fire back at me. And I'll take it. Come on. There you go. Uh, 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 uh. Come on. Got him. Got him. That was a bad move coming in like that. Uh, wrong button. Wrong button. Alright, let's empty these guys out. Nice. Alright. Where are the other ones at? Look for the smoke. <laughs> I'm out. I don't hear them. Maybe they just... Did they just bond that fast? They couldn't have. The other one's right there. Okay. They're up here somewhere. Ah, uh, that one... Oh, my God. He fell all the way down there. Okay. You know what we're going to do? Go back... To, we're going to go back to the spider bite. Anyhow. So, today's episode, I am going to go back to the Polaris. And I'm going to try to sell all these weapons and everything. And just empty all this out. Try to make as much money as I can. Uh, then we're going to come back. And right there. Right right where my reticle is at. We're going to build. A hangar. We need one. Especially with all these drones. They like to attack the land vehicles first. Okay so there's that one. Let's go ahead and get him. Attention all viewers. Attention all viewers. This is a service announcement. Chief. Rocky is a moron. Well, I say that, and this is why. I forgot to turn on my mic. So all the in-game commentary is not there. So, in this scene, I'm trying to explain that Bertram's, at the level 1 Polaris trading station, is where you can sell your early level 1, tier 1 weapons. So, I made a trip over to him. And I was able to sell all of the goods that I had made. Now you see me here where I'm actually swapping things around. That is because when you sell stuff, it sells from your hot bar first. And then your inventory from top to bottom. And since all the weapons I had on me in my hot bar had all the ammunition in it, I didn't want to get rid of that. Because ammunition costs money. Well, not necessarily money, but time. And time is more important than money. So, instead of trying to lose all that, I just kind of shuffled around. Grab all the stuff that I was willing to sell. And move it into my inventory. So, you can see here, I go to sell it. Multi-tool, sell. And it went straight from my hot bar first. So, the next one, and it goes top down. That's important to remember. 
when you're selling stuff because if you're trying to sell something <laughs> anything make sure that what the one you want sold is in your hot bar first okay because you're probably gonna sell it and not realize that it's miss missing from your hot bar and keep trying to sell and then you sell them all and you kind of screwed so just remember that that's important to remember and remember that early game weapons can be sold at the level one trading station on the starting planet all right gaming warriors so before we got started on this um i was really low on multi charges and drilling charges so since we're honored now with the talon i went up to this area over here and they had some Prometheum right in this area that I already mined up and I did a mission for them too and I got quite a bit actually I did two missions I went and got some wood for them and I killed some bugs uh, I this is my new pet his name's Steve hi Steve so gold coins two stacks of them uh, I might do the the next mission they want me to do is called unholy places um, so I'm gonna fly past this place um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it yet or not. Yeah. I think the workshop is easier than this one. <laughs> so I might do the workshop first. But I might fly past this place and uh, see what it tells me to do. But for right now, our main mission for this episode is to extend this out. So I want a corridor coming out from here into the mountain. Okay. And then once that happens I'm going to eat this section of the mountain out and then create a hangar right there eventually I'm going to lengthen that out to where there's an exit heading out that way but for right now all we're gonna do is we're gonna start here and we're gonna work our way there so let's go ahead and get started
All right, Gaming Warriors, so we got done upgrading our base. I mean, this is a massive, massive overhaul, as you can see. <laughs> we have a huge hangar right here. Um, not only that, but there's a pathway that goes through the mountain and other little cavernous areas that I've dug in there. Um, it's, it's absolutely a gorgeous gorgeous base now uh, most of it's hidden though so we'll go ahead and go in through the front here and I'll show you this so we were able to clean up a lot of this space so there's a lot more room here I want to say in the main quarter deck area this garden's obviously going to get grown out and pushed out this way um, but yeah there's a lot more room here this upper deck is literally just kind of like a stop through I forgot to do that but we'll fix that um, let's come through here. So this is where our general sleeping quarters were. This is actually now the storage room. Alright, so you got your spare parts in and out. Uh, medical still the same. Uh, this is slowly getting turned into a computer slash solar power room. As you can see, we had to add a T2 extender to the base with this massive overhaul. It was just, Yeah, it was too much. So as you can see here, this is our pathway going through the mountain and you have your fuel and your oxygen pipes I thought that was a nice little touch um, and as I I'm pretty impressed with this area right here okay this looks industrious right very uh, militaristic oh man I'm just I'm pretty impressed with this not to toot my own horn <laughs> but it goes all the way out to the hangar uh, but before we do that, this is our new sleeping quarters, which I got to put some lights in. I'm moving the shower and the uh, toilet to this area. But as you can see, sleeping quarters, it's a little ugly. Uh, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with it. But I mean, I don't know. Kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, something out of S Stargate Atlantis. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to fix it. Um, and then this is slowly turning into the engineering room. So we don't really need to cover it up because we got the entire mountain protecting it. Uh, and then we'll come out through here and then you can see the oxygen pipe continues on. Uh, this is not oxygenated yet only because we have this and I plan on pushing this all the way out too. Uh, but right now it's just kind of like, like I said, very uh, industrious, militaristic type of feel. Um, but yeah, I mean, spacious hangar. Got a nice little parking spot for our SV. And... Whew, man, this is beautiful. And then... We got these lights. I gotta figure out the whole... Um, synchronizing them. This is supposed to kind of indicate... Yeah, you're, you're clear for uh, landing and takeoff. But, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Right now, it's, it, it serves its purpose. Alright, so uh, the pathway got extended out, so obviously I could come up the mountain this way. And I got little half blocks to protect me if if, if we do get invaded by the Sea Racks, I could come up here and effectively fight them off. Um, and then added two more turret towers over here, two more cannons. And this is going to be extended up. And this is going to be our CV landing station. Right? I, I do want to put some landing pads here in the future but as of right now this is going to be the main CV landing pad so our elevator block is going to take us down into the actual hangar bay where we'll keep our HVs and small SVs but for right now it's an empty unused spot um, until we get our CV in but yes yeah, so we got what two cannon turrets and a minigun now so I think we should be pretty good when it comes to attacks at this point plus we get this whole mountain by the time they even pass over this mountain which is they've either been coming this way or this way lately uh yeah they're they're kind of done for they're done skis they're done skis okay um yeah that's pretty much it i have made the decision that the time lapse i'm only going to put about five minutes of that on <laughs> <laughs> it took me two and a half days to do this and to get the design the way I wanted it. So um, I'm not going to put you guys through that pain. 
<laughs> it'd be a five minute time lapse. However, comma, it is time. Now we have to do some work on our SV. So I went ahead and I started queuing up thrusters, which we're going to need. Container. Uh oh, we got a problem here. Uh, it's still working on the extender. Okay, and two more generators. So we need to increase the capacity of the spider bite to hold stuff and move when it's, how do you say, uh, encumbered. So what we're going to do is we're going to start upgrading it right now. Live. Live, guys. We're doing this live. All right. So that should give me four to thrust when she's full. I think we're going to have to lift her up. So our main thing is like she can't really hold that much. Um, and when we first started this video out, basically we had to make like two or three trips to go get... Um, Promethium. Man, I don't know why I couldn't remember that. We had to make two or three trips to get Promethium. And uh, that's just unsat. I'm just not willing to accept that. So we have to upgrade her to be able to help us get this stuff in less, well, in one load. Definitely less than two. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> okay, I'm more worried about up thrust, so we're going to go ahead and take this one out too. We're having an issue taking off. Whoa! Wrong button. Jesus, Chief. T, not Y. Well, to my defense, they're right next to each other. Alright, the other problem I'm going to have is with, uh, and, and we'll check this out, but she has two small generators. Um, so I'm worried that that might cause a problem, but we'll see. So a little bit more forward thrust, a lot more up thrust. Uh, we got two more. Hmm. Maybe there's some of that four thrust. Do we, do we want to do some of that to slow her down a little better? I think that's... Uh, I just don't know where I put it. <laughs> I don't know where I put it. You know what? For right now, this is fine. So let's get her down. And we're going to have to do some test runs a little later. All right. I'll have to reset everything too. All right, so we want to start taking some of this stuff out. Now, I don't need this nameplate anymore. That was for, make sure there's nothing in there, okay. That was for basically the workshop and there's stuff in there. We don't wanna do that, Chief. We don't wanna do that. Actually, why don't I do that? Just put that on me. There you go. There you go. And we don't need these seats either. Right? We, we're doing single player. Alright. Okay, and you know what? We need one more, actually. We need one more made. Means we gotta come out this way. Constructor out. Come right here, and we need one more controller. Boom. Should take only a second. And we 
Big habits. She looks all nice and pretty. Eh, is that upside down? No, it's right side up. Okay. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Okay, now let's see what its capacity is. Oh, 500. Definitely a lot better than what we had before. And we'll tuck two more of those there. And now we're looking at 625 compared to 250, 250. We still have the refrigerator and we have 250 of ammo, which is plenty for the ammo. Um, so I think we're going to go ahead and end this video here. Actually, hold on. Let's check. We might. No, actually, we're good. So we will end this video here uh, in the next video. Uh, I think in between videos, I'm going to test this out and see if she can carry the capacity I want. And then, so we have a, a mission right now where they want us to take a look at the abandoned vessel yard. Now, I'll do that mission, but I'm not going to go in that one. This one seems a lot easier to go in, and we need to hit a POI. I haven't done one yet, and we really need to do it to get some stuff to sell. So, yeah, we're going to check this one out and do the Talon mission that it's asking us to do, which is scout unholy places. Uh, and then we'll probably hit the abandoned workshop first. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, man, this is a lot of work. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about the base. I'm really curious about what you guys think about my little pathway here. Um, I, I, I think it looks pretty cool, but, you know, it's my opinion. I'm pretty biased, but that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell for more Imperial content just like this. Chief Rocky out.